Hello everyone, I'm Greg Paquin. And I'm Tiffany Savoy. And welcome to MCYFL's Top 10 Plays of the Week. Where we show you some of the best plays that youth sports has to offer. For example, last week's top play, number 19, Jake Brudiani with the Senior Wildcats had an impressive one-handed interception. And you're right, Tiffany, that was a terrific play, a one-handed interception, unbelievable. And I'm sure, Kevin, you've come up with a lot more, a lot more great plays in week number two of MCYFL. Greg, a lot of great plays on Saturday. If we show them all, we'd have to have some show called, I don't know, inside the MCYFL. But anyway, Junior Colts taking on the Rattlers. Honorable mention play number one. This is Laquan Prunty breaking tackle after tackle and breaking free from those green shirts. Going 68 yards into the end zone. Touchdown for the Junior Colts. They go on to win, and that's honorable mention play number one. HM2, Junior Canes taking on the Hawks. Check out the perfect pass. Jonathan Sanchez right on the money to Joshua Mulkey. 32 yards, honorable mention play number two. HM3 staying in the junior division. Knights taking on the Cougars. Knights with the football to Lawrence Jones. The pass to Caden Roundtree, but he's got a problem. There are three Cougars surrounding him, probably going to tackle him, right? Uh, not necessarily. Somehow Roundtree scoots away from the Cougars. 65 yards. Roundtree into the end zone. Knights win big on Saturday, and that's HM number three. And our final honorable mention play, Senior Cougars taking on the Falcons. Cougars, the onside kick to start the second half. And check out the coaches for the Cougars. How vested are they? Very. They want that football and watch them. The ball's bouncing around and the coaching staff, oh my goodness, look, jumping up into the air. You know, that's Team USA Olympic high jumping caliber right there. Well, you know, the Cougars didn't get the football, but you gotta love the passion by the Senior Cougars. And now it is time, week number two, Marion County Youth Football League Top 10 Plays of the Week. 10! Play number 10, Junior Wildcats taking on the Broncos. Wildcats late first half trying to get on the board. Quarterback Bronson Hetzel looking for Zane Waldron, who comes up with the catch. Beautiful snag by Waldron. One more look. Check out Waldron. He's going to stretch out comes up with that football on his fingertips, makes the grab 31 yards in all, and that's play number 10. Nine! Play number nine basically shared because two plays exactly alike in two different games. This is the Pee Wee Colts taking on the Falcons, Travell Ingram to Desmond Bagley, and there he goes. But on his heels, Fletcher Gumpert, London Chisholm. Can they track down Desmond Bagley before he gets into the end zone? Well, that's why we're showing it. The great hustle by Gumpert and Chisholm bringing down Bagley at the two, a gain of 63 yards, but that's play 9A. 9B, Junior Kane's taking on the Hawks on field B. Kane's Tory and James from his own 10 yard line getting outside and there he goes. Will he be caught? Well. Number two, Lonnie King the third, going to try to stop him. And guess what? He's going to do just that. After a gain of 86 yards, he's going to push him out of bounds. Good hustle by the Hawks and the Falcons. Plays number nine. Hey! Play number eight. This is number four, Christian Mond of the Senior Rattlers. Had a tough day against the Knights. Knights win big, but this was the one bright spot. Christian Mond getting the handoff from Jerry McGee breaking a tackle, and there he goes. The only person that can catch him is number nine, Jacobius Braddock, and he's stretching out, trying to hold on. Not quite. Bond goes 69 yards into the end zone. Touchdown for the Rattlers, and that's play number eight. Well, there you go, folks, play number eight. A great touchdown run by Christian Mond of the senior Rattlers. That was spectacular. And now, as promised, it's the MCYFL Information Corner with Tiffany Savoy. And Tiffany's got a lot to talk about this week, don't you, Tiffany? Yes, we do, Greg. First, I want to talk about MCYFL's cleat program. And we are in need of cleats. So we will be holding a fundraiser September 23rd and September 30th. So donate your gently used cleats or cash them out to the concession area so we can distribute cleats to kids in need here at MCYFL. Next up, mark your calendars, the 10th annual Alex McDonald Punt Kick Pass competition. It's a free event to all participants. Next up on October 21st, we have our sixth annual food drive to benefit Interfaith Emergency Services. So get off your cans and start collecting non-perishable food items. And finally, we have a little fun in store on October 28th, that's playoff weekend. We have our annual MCYFL Trunk or Treat. And Greg, can adults participate in this? Because I like candy. Absolutely, Tiffany. In fact, we had quite a haul last year, if you remember. Great time, Trunk or Treat. We're looking forward to that. 
But before we get there, we got some more great action from Kevin. Play seven through four, I believe. Play number seven, a shared play in the same game, a tale of two halves. Senior Colts taking on the Wildcats. Opening kickoff for the Colts, and this is number 11, Richard Roundtree. Following his blockers from his own 21-yard line, and there he goes, not gonna be caught. 79 yards into the end zone, touchdown for the Colts. Now let's move to the start of the second half. Colts kicking off to the Wildcats, and Muhammad Brooks scooping it up from his own 19-yard line, Sees an opening, and there he goes. Muhammad Brooks, 81 yards, a tale of two halves, folks. Wildcats win big on Saturday, and those are plays number seven. Six. Play number six, Junior Cowboys taking on the Wolfpack. Cowboys with the football, up 6 nothing. looking for more. Quarterback Nolan Hanson looking for Bryce Crabtree, who's got it, and then he breaks a tackle and gets into the end zone for the score. One more look. Hanson going up top, the beautiful pass to Bryce Crabtree, great snag right there, but now all he has to do is get away from the Wolfpack's Hunter Goodwin. He's got a hold of him right, but there goes Crabtree doing a little spin, stepping over Goodwin, 36 yards in all, touchdown for the Cowboys. Let's play number six. Hey! This is number 29, Isaiah King of the Pee Wee Hawks, taking on the Wolfpack. Check out the blocking, King leading the way for Roman Armstrong who has the football and watch King, boom, ouch. The big time block by King, and that's not all. Check out Messiah Hester, the big time block right there, giving Armstrong just enough time to break free, go 29 yards into the end zone. Great blocking by King and Hester, and that's play number five. Play number four, Senior Hawks taking on the Canes. Hawks with the football, and this is quarterback Zach Kiger going up top. Looking for receiver Camden Nelson. There's only one problem, or maybe two. That's because Jasani Williams of the Canes and Josiah Kaiser of the Canes are going to try to knock that ball away. But Camden Nelson going up high, coming down with the football. The only question, did he stay in bounds? Is it a touchdown? Well, it's play number four. Well, of course he stayed in bounds. Touchdown for the Hawks. Big win on Saturday, by the way. One more look. Kiger going up top. Camden Nelson coming down with that football. What a terrific grab by Camden Nelson. And that's play number four. And again, a terrific play number four. Camden Nelson with the senior Hawks. Even though he was double teamed, he still made the catch for the touchdown. That was terrific. And now, an event we always look forward to, and it's Tiffany's verse of the week. Tiffany, what'd you come up with? Thanks, Greg. This week our verse is out of Matthew 11:28, and it says, Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. So are you tired? Do you feel like giving up? Seek the Lord. His burden is light, and he will restore your soul. Thank you, Tiffany. That's awesome, as usual. We look forward to the verse of the week, and we do it in conjunction with the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, FCA as they're known. We brought FCA into MCYFL this year, and they're also in all the campuses in Marion County Schools. So if you're interested in the organization, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, get a hold of your FCA director at your school, or you can get a hold of Tiffany and I right here at MCYFL. And now it's time to do what we've all been waiting for. What is our number one play? Kevin, I'm sure you came up with something terrific. Play number three from the Pee Wee Division. Colts taking on the Falcons. Colts with the football, and this is number nine, Everett Lawrence. Check out what he's going to do to Michael Durden, who has the football. Right up the middle, boom! Big time hit by Lawrence. JC on Starker comes up with the football for the Falcons. One more look. Lawrence, the huge hit on Michael Durden going up the middle, boom! Durden fumbles the football. J.C. on Starker comes up with it for the Falcons. Great hit by Everett Lawrence. Play number three. Yes. Play number two, back to the senior Canes, taking on the Hawks. Canes this time. Kamari Brown in a quarterback, looking for Adrian Smith over the middle, and he comes up with that football. What a grab by number 36, Adrian Smith. One more look. Some people thought, well, did he really catch the football? Well, look at it for yourself. Adrian Smith over the middle, Stretching his arms out, comes up with that ball. What a catch by number 36, Adrian Smith. Great play by the Canes and play number two. Play! 
But our top play of the week, back to the Junior Division Wildcats, taking on the Broncos. Wildcats with the football. Bronson Hetzel looking for Zane Waldron. Uh-oh, it's going to be picked off, but no! Somehow caught by Zane Waldron into the end zone. Touchdown for the Wildcats. One more look. Hetzel up top, but in the way, Ronnie Vernon, the third of the Broncos. He's got the INT, right? Oh, my goodness. Right through his mitts, and somehow Zane Waldron keeps tapping it around and comes up with that football. 32-yard touchdown for the Junior Wildcats. Great play by Waldron, and that is our top play of the week. And once again, another terrific number one play with a terrific touchdown catch. Tiffany, what do you think? I thought for sure that was going to be an interception, but I, what a great catch. I did too. I did too, <laughs> but it was fantastic. Don't forget, folks, MCYFL is looking for volunteers. We need all the help we can get down here. If you're interested, contact us at mcyfl.us or find us on Facebook. I'm Greg Paquin. And I'm Tiffany Savoy. And we'll see you next time right here on MCYFL's Top 10 Plays of the Week.